Hello everyone. We are from group 11. Today we are going to summarize about the topic of moving boundary problems. Hi, I'm Yishun. Today I'm going to discuss the summary of an elementary problem with moving boundaries. First, we let f equals to f x y y prime be a three times differentiable function of its arguments. And in the x y plan, let there be two curves y equals to phi x and y equals to psi x, where phi x is the subset of c1 intervals a to b, and psi x also the subset of c1 in interval a to b. We consider the functional j y equals to integral f x y y prime defined on the smooth curves y equals to y x, the endpoint of which a x node y node and b x one y one lie on curves which are y node equals to v x node and y one equals to sine x one. And here is the problem: find the extremum of functional j y equals to integral gamma m x y y prime d x. And here is a graph for the y equals to v x and y equals to sine x. Next, the theorem for this problem is that we at first let the curve y equals to y x extremize the functional j in terms of gamma and the integral f x y y prime from among all curve of the class c1 joining two arbitrary points of two given curve y equals to v x and y equals to sine x. Then the curve gamma is an extremer in the transversality conditions. The formula of these two transversality conditions are fulfilled at the endpoints a x node y node and b x one y one of the curve gamma. So to solve this elementary problem, firstly, it is necessary to solve the appropriate Euler equations, and the solution should be a family of extrema y equals to f x c one c two. Then solve for the two constants using transversality conditions and here's the these two formula and the boundary conditions y naught equals to v x node y one equals to sin s one and that is f x node c one c two equals to v x node and f x one c one c two equals to v x one Finally we can compute the extremum of the functional j y equals to integral f x y y prime dx and that's all for me. For example for elementary problem, the question is by using the transversality condition found the shorter distance between the point q five minus 1 and the parabola y equal to s squared. So the shorter distance is equal to square root 1 plus y prime square ds. So by using the Euler equation, we will get y is equal to y c1s plus c2 and also equal to small f. So by because the point q is 5 minus 1, so we get the c2 is equal to minus 1 minus 5 c1. And by using the transfer, transversality condition, y equal to s squared equal to sine, and sine prime is equal to 2s. So by substitute the equation inside f plus sine prime minus y prime f y prime equal to 0, we will guess s1 is equal to minus 1 over true c1. And the small f is equal to sine. So c1 is s1 plus c2 is equal to s1 squared. We put the equation 3 into equation 1. So we get c1 s1 minus 1. Minus 5c1 is equal to s1 squared. We put the equation 2 into equation 4. We will get the c1 is equal to minus 1 over 2. And c2 is equal to 3 over 2. And s1 is equal to 1. So we will get the y is equal to minus 1 over 2s plus 3 over 2. And y prime is equal to minus 1 over 2. We substitute uh, the solution we get into the functional j. So we get the shortest distance is equal to true square root 5. So we are going to continue with the moving boundary problem for functional of the form. So in testing the functional for n as we assume that at least one of the boundary points 
A, X0, Y0, Z0 or B, X1, Y1, Z1 is in motion along the given curve. The first step is we have to solve the appropriate at area equation Fy minus D per DX Fy prime equal to 0 Fz minus D per DX Fz prime equal to 0. Let the point A, X0, Y0, Z0 be fixed and let B, X1, Y1, Z1 be in motion along a certain curve specified by Y equal to phi X, Z equal to psi X. The transversality condition is of the form F plus phi prime minus Y prime F Y prime plus psi prime minus Z prime F Z prime. X equal to X1 equal to 0. If A, X0, Y0, Z0 is also in motion along some curves, Y equal to phi X, Z equal to psi X. The transversality condition is of the form plus V prime minus Y prime F Y prime plus psi prime minus Z prime F Z prime X equal to X naught equal to zero. That is the summary for the moving boundary problem for functional of the form. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lisa Lim. Now I'm going to share about one example of the moving boundary problem for functional of the form. Find the shortest distance from the point A, 1, 2, 3 to the straight line, y equal to x plus 1, and z equal to x minus 1. For the solution, we know that the general formula for the shortest distance is equal to jyz equal to integration of square root 1 plus y prime square plus z prime square dx. So by solving this filler equation for two variables, we can get y equal to ax plus b, where y prime equal to a and z equal to cx plus d, where z prime equal to c. In this case, we know that phi equal to y, which is 2x plus 1, where phi prime equal to 2, and psi equal to z, which is x minus 1, where psi prime equal to 1. So from the general solutions, general formula of the shortest distance, we can find all the formula for the f, f y prime, and z, uh, f z prime. So we substitute all the uh, all the formula of f, uh, phi prime, y prime, f y prime, and psi prime, z prime, and also f z prime to the translations conditions. Finally, we can found out there's one equation is one plus a x at one plus two a plus c equal to zero. This is our first equation. So by in by substitute the condition point A into the formula given, we can get 2 plus 2 equal to A plus B and 3 equal to C plus D. So about the straight line, we can also get two equations which is AX1 plus B equal to 2X1 plus 1 and CX1 plus D equal to X1 minus 1. So we can now we can get, uh, now we have five equations so by subjected B and D and substitute it into the equation 4 and 5, we can get two types of uh, equation of X1. Equal them and we can get A equal to C plus 1. Substitute this equation into equation 1. Finally, we can get X equal to negative 1. By calculation, the final answer A equal to 0, B equal to negative 2, C equal to negative 1, d equal to negative 4 and x1 equal to negative 3 over 2. About our target of the question, we know that the shortest distance equal to j y z equal to integrations square root of 2 dx from 1 to x1. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Tu Xing. Now let's move to geodesic distance. Now you must very curious about what is geodesic distance. If let's say the magnitude of the integral jy is the integration from a to b f dx, taken along the curve gamma from point a to point b, we call it as j length of the curve gamma. If gamma is an extremum, then the jy is called as geodesic distance, and the extremum we call it as j line, which is the straight line on Earth's field. So basically, this is the j line and this is geodesic distance. 
Now let's move on to an example. Find the geodesic distance from A, 0, 1 to B prime cos prime. Given that the distance is determined by the functional, j y equal to integral from A to B y prime square plus 2y cos x dx. First, we need to determine the f first, which is equal to y prime square plus 2y cos x. Then we find the f y and f y prime. Then we use the Euler's equation to find the instrument. We will get the Euler equation is equal to 2 cos x minus d dx, 2y prime equal to 0. Then we solve the Euler's equation to get the instrument of the functions. After we get y x equal to cos x plus ax plus b, then we apply the boundary conditions y0 equal to 1 and y prime equal to cos prime. Then we will get y x equal to cos x. Then we put y x to jy for y prime square. We differentiate the y and square. Then we will get sine square x. And we put the y into the function. Then 2y cos x will become 2 cos square x. Then we change the sine square x to 102 cos 2x minus 1 and cos square x to 1 over 2 cos 2x plus 1. Then we solve e by the integration. After that, we put the value of pi into the equation. We will get the jy value equal to 3 over 4 sine 2 pi plus 1 over 2 pi. That's all for me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Elsa Bila Aurelia. Um, now I will continue uh, the presentation with application for moving boundary problem. Moving boundary problems are time-dependent problems describing the motion of a quantity such as fluid in a domain moving due to uh, etc. The domain's exterior boundary motion or the motion of an immersed structure within the fluid or both. Many problems in mechanics involve a deformable domain with moving boundaries. Examples include two-way fluid structure interaction, free surface flows, flows over soft tissues and textile, uh, flows involving accretion or erosion, flows through deformable porous media, material forming, uh, and so on. Uh, probably that's all for me. I uh, will continue with the example. Thank you. Thanks for the previous example. I'm Roshin E. Now, let's move on to an example to show the application of moving boundary problems. There are a group of participants are taking part in the paracutin competition. The goal of the competition is to be the first landing on the designated landing plate. The rate curve is a flying path of the aircraft, which will be represented by 4x squared plus 9y squared equal to 36. Well, the red point is landing place with coordinate 1, 0. In order to win the competition, we should calculate the shortest distance between the flying path of the aircraft and the city. So, we can be the first landing on the designated landing place. So, let's move on to the steps of solution. First, we should find the extremes. The general equation of the variation problem for the shortest distance is j equal to integrate from x0 to x1 square root of 1 plus y prime squared. In order to use the Euler equation, we should find f which is equal to square root of 1 plus y prime squared and fy which is equal to 0. And the last one is f y prime, which is equal to y prime per square root of 1 plus y prime squared. And we substitute them into the Euler equation, which equal to fy minus d dx fy prime equal to 0. By solving the Euler's equation, we could find y is equal to c1x plus c2. And we label it as equation 1. And from here, we could also find y prime, which is equal to c1. Next, we'll use the transversality conditions to solve the problems. For the curve, 4x squared plus 9y squared equal to 36. We can find that v, which is equal to y, is equal to square root of 36 minus 4x squared per 9. And the v prime is equal to negative 4x 
per 3 square root of 36 minus 4 x squared. By using the travel facility conditions, which is f plus b prime minus y prime f y prime, which are condition of x equal to x0 is equal to 0. By substituting all the terms into the equation, we finally we can get that d1 is equal to 3 square root of 9 minus x0 squared per 2 x0. And we're going to label it as equation 2. Next, we will consider that there will be a point x0, y0 on the ellipse 4x squared plus 9y squared equal to 36. We substitute this point into the first equation that the first equation will be y0 equal to 41x0 plus c2. And we also know that y will equal to square root of 36 minus 4x0 squared per 9. Thus, we equal them together. Then, finally, we will get c1 squared x0 squared plus 2c1 c2 x0 plus c2 squared is equal to 36 minus 4 x0 squared per 9. And we label it as equation 3. Next, then we have known the second curve. Thus, we substitute point 1,0 into equation 1. By solving this equation, we will get that c1 is equal to negative c2. And we label it as equation 4. Now, let's summarize the equation that we get from the previous steps. Equation 2, equation 3, and equation 4. By solving these three equations, we could get the value of c1, c2, and also x0. So, let's substitute equation 4 into equation 3. And by solving these equations, we can get that c1 is equal to 2 square root of 9 minus x0 square per 3 x0 minus 1. And we can notice that c1 could be described in equation 2 and equation 5. So, let's compare them together. And by comparing equation 2 and equation 5, we can get that x0 is equal to 9 per 5. And by substituting x0 into equation 2, we can get that c1 is equal to 2. And by substituting c1 into equation 4, we can get that c2 is equal to negative 2. By having the value of c1, c2, and x0, we can find that extremal y is equal to 2x minus 2. And the point of extremals is 9 per 5, x per 5. And by having this information, we can substitute them into the general equation of the shortest distance. Then it will become integrate from 1 to 9 per 5, square root of 1 plus y prime square dx. And by solving this equation, we can get that the shortest distance is equal to 4 per square root 5. Thus, we can make the conclusion that the participant should jump when the aircraft passes through the point 9 per 5 at per 5 to have the shortest distance of parachuting. That's all for our group presentation. Thank you.